We have with us Mr. Datukal Beck Nelson, Chairman Malaysian Palm Oil Council to discuss about palm oil industry and its importance for Indian market. Thank you for joining with PTI. My pleasure. So tell me sir, how important uh, India market is for Malaysia considering that you are a major supplier of palm oil to India. India is a very important market globally in terms of palm oil trade. In fact, India is the largest importer of palm oil today uh, and uh, has been the largest importer of palm oil for a very long time, wherefore India is an incredibly important market for, for Malaysian palm but also for Indonesian palm. So you must be aware recently India has uh, increased the import tax uh, and to protect its own uh, domestic oilseed farmers. Yes. How do you see this? Will this affect the import? Uh, the export uh, to India and are there any projections for how this might influence market share? This is uh, the prerogative of the Indian government. India is a sovereign state and uh, the Indian legislators are of course entitled to uh, fix duties as they deem best and fit for the country. Um, I'm not too worried about that because uh, if some palm oil imports are, are reduced then there'll be other countries who would want to buy the palm oil from Malaysia. So in the long term, uh, how do you see this uh, implication arising from this India's policy change for both Malaysian palm oil exporters and Indian consumers? I think Malaysia and India have been trading partners for a very, very, very long time. And they will continue to be close trading partners with many numerous types of goods, one of them being palm oil. So uh, I think we should look at it in a positive light that uh, there will be uh, positive sentiments also going forward between the two countries. So in light of increased tariffs on imports into India, is, um, is your council considering diversifying uh, markets or focusing more on other regions to mitigate potential losses? No, because uh, I think you have to understand this has been done in the past. It has been done before and uh, duties have been raised and duties have been reduced and uh, we will see that this pattern will repeat itself also into the future. So we should not be so based on short-term knee-jerk reactions. We must look at the long-term partnership which has been solid, which has been strong and which has been durable. Yeah, with increase in import tariff, obviously the local prices in India are set to rise. In this backdrop, uh, how the council plan to address potential shifts in Indian consumer behavior if prices of palm oil rise significantly due to the increased custom duties? This is something which uh, we will leave to the Indian government to answer. This is not really something we want to get involved with. Okay, so will you... We, we are just suppliers of palm oil. Okay, so Will the council adjust uh, its marketing and sustainability narratives in response to these changes? How important is the sustainability argument in encouraging Indian consumers to choose Malaysian palm oil despite price increases? Well, I think uh, people value the aspect of sustainability so much more today. And uh, in terms of providing leadership in sustainable palm oil production, Malaysia is at the very forefront. And uh, the Indian consumers who are also raising their awareness and giving much more importance to sustainability, notably the young people, they would want to ensure that the supplies of palm or be this soy or whatever other products are produced in a sustainable way and is produced in a purposeful way. So here I'm, I'm actually positive and optimistic. So in that uh, sense, like you must also be aware that recently Indian government has announced a big mission to promote uh, domestic oil seeds cultivation yes. in order to reduce its dependence on imports. How do you uh, see this uh, you know, policy change and its potential impact on uh, India's demand for imported palm oil? Mm -hmm. And do you anticipate a decrease in demand as uh, domestic production increases? I don't see it as a problem. The Indian population is rising. The affluence level in India is rising. That means that the de demand and the requirements for vegetable oils will also increase. So therefore, uh, I see more as a problem the supply side. So I don't see it as a problem. So will the council be a facilitator for uh, you know, helping India in uh, 
you know, in domestic oil seed cultivation, in supplying of high yield seeds, or facilitating both the research and the trade, and in both sense. I believe how that uh, this uh, question was answered very uh, well by the minister during the early interview, uh, interview, and I will echo his response. So, will there be increase in prices uh, uh, in future? considering uh, the sustainability you know promotion is so much that whether consumers have to pay a premium for uh, sustainability now if i could tell you oil. where the prices would go in the future i don't think i'll be sitting here now it's going to be it, you know forecasting is difficult especially when concerning the future uh, as chairman mao he once said but uh, insofar as supply is concerned there could be um, how should i say net year-on-year -year growth in supplies into the future will very likely not be as high as what it has been in the past. So therefore you could see that there could be a tightening in terms of the supply coverage into many markets globally in the future. So many think that palm oil is cheap and not very healthy compared to other vegetable oils. What is your take on that? This is such a, a load of nonsense. Uh, palm oil is a very versatile and healthy oil, just as so many other oils. The key thing which consumers must remember is not to overconsume respective foods, be this rice, be this salt, be this sugar, and be this vegetable oils. I mean, everything in moderation. Uh, palm oil is a perfectly healthy and versatile vegetable oil source. Uh, which has fed billions of people for the last hundred years. So I think we've got to be careful not to sort of point a finger at palm oil, giving it uh, all kinds of uh, misleading allegations which simply do not hold any substance today. So is MPOC looking to collaborate with Indian companies or organizations to improve the perception and acceptance of uh, you know, palm oil as a healthy oil among Indian consumers? Oh, of course. I think you know, we work with many people and uh, we, are, we are keen to explore good collaborative cooperations whereby it ultimately benefits the consumer. So any relationship that you have with any organization any talks going on currently in this perspective talks with who uh, with any indian uh, companies or organizations oh there are a lot of indian companies who buy palm from malaysia mm -hmm. so we are in, we are in dialogue with them so what is your vision for the growth of malaysian palm oil in india over the next few years what challenges do you foresee in achieving this growth well uh, india is a very price elastic market mm -hmm. and if the price goes up the, the uh, requirement or the demand comes down and if the price goes down the requirement goes up so it's a very price elastic market and we have to appreciate this so in terms of being able to provide supplies well the supplies are there it's all a matter of whether you want it or not and uh, you know as I said earlier on India is the world's largest importer of palm oil today and I foresee that it is going to continue to be uh, at least amongst the world's top two importers of palm oil going forward in the years to come. And uh, what's the level of production you're projecting for Malaysian palm oil this year and, uh, and the import, uh, India's imports? You know? I see Malaysian palm oil production uh, reaching 19 to 19.2 million tons as a minimum for 2024, which is up uh, sizably compared to last year. And in terms of Indian imports, uh, the best people to ask are the experts like Oil World uh, who would provide you with a much more clear indication and a more precise indication than I will. Okay. Yeah, thank you for joining with PTN. My pleasure. All the very best.